Far Cry 5 does nothing to innovate or revolutionize the Far Cry franchise. Far Cry 5 instead changes up the formula to make a game I can easily describe with one word. Fun. Many of the more monotonous mechanics of the franchise are gone. No longer do you need to climb towers to reveal the map. No longer is the game focused so much on taking out outposts. Side missions are plentiful, and they aren't pointless chores for achievements. The frequent encounters on the roads make for some crazy and sometimes hilarious moments. Ubisoft revitalized the Far Cry formula by simply changing it up rather than completely reinventing it. There's something else that Far Cry isn't, and that's political. Polygon, GameSpot, and many other mainstream media outlets decry the game for not making a political statement. Far-left neoliberals are confused that Far Cry 5 isn't about Trump's America, that it doesn't pander to SJWs by fueling their delusions that conservatives are monsters. Instead, it shows conservatives are ordinary people and doesn't make an issue out of race and gender. This is a very subtle message, so it is no wonder SJWs simply don't get it. The fact that Far Cry 5 doesn't pander to such toxic politics refreshing, especially in an era where our mainstream media is infected with it. I agree Ubisoft was probably trying to play it safe, but by doing so they still made a statement, just not the one that feeds the far left's confirmation bias. Thank you for watching. Gamers Bay is one of the oldest and friendliest communities on Google+. If you want a troll-free, family-friendly, video-game-centric social media experience, consider joining us today. A link can be found in the video description.